There are four levels to assign GL accounts. Two options, item group, debtor and creditor maintenance, and during document transaction. Let's look at the first level. Tools, options, GL, default accounts. This is the master setting of GL accounts for posting purpose. This setting may need to be updated if you have modified the chart of accounts. The second level is at stock, stock group maintenance. Here you may assign different GL accounts for different stock groups. Load default accounts means to use the default GL accounts assigned at two options GL default accounts. Note 1. Define account code for sales or purchase discount account only when the options of line discount post to separate account is checked. At tools, options, invoicing, customer invoicing, this is the one, line discount post to separate account. That means the sales discount account and purchase discount account is used only when this checkbox is checked. Check this checkbox means the line discount value will be posted to AR and AP in a separate account and show the gross amount before discount. And check this checkbox will post only the net subtotal to AR and AP menu. Note 2. Define the account code for balance sheet stock account only when the option of use live stock balance in all financial reports is checked. Tools. Options, General, Application Settings, this is the one. Use livestock balance in all financial reports, which means to direct calculated stock balance from transactions instead of getting it from stock value maintenance and use it in all financial reports. Only when this is checked, the balance sheet stock account code is needed. The third level is at AR, Data Maintenance, and AP, Creditor Maintenance. Let's look at AR data maintenance. Under others tab, account group, you may assign the account group for this data. Account group is maintained at general maintenance, posting account group maintenance. You may click on new to add a new account group. Let's take a look on the existing account group. First, you give the account group a name and then a description. Then you assign the GL accounts. The fourth level is at the detail grid during transaction. Let's take sales invoice for example. Right click at the column header and select column chooser. Drag out the account number from the column chooser. Now when you add an item, the GL account is automatically assigned according to the setting at the third level. If not, it will be according to the second level and if not the first level. You may change the GL accounts to be posted for each transacted item on this particular document. Go to Tools, Options, GL, GL Posting. Here you may perform additional settings related to GL Posting, such as always post detailed description or post document description, post double entry account description, detailed description or document description for AR or AP invoice, DN and CN. And remember, before you assign the GL accounts, you have to first build your chart of account. That's all for posting to GL accounts. Thank you.